start our Sunday morning I session. I know, right? We can tell it's officially the Sundays. Guys, we start our Sunday music in the morning with Kanaga performance. Now, welcome to the Sea Morning Show right here on the today. For you who just joined in, it is going to be a cool Sunday. Now, thanks for joining with us in the early morning. And of course, Kanaga did a great, great job yes. performing solo. We were hypnotized. Love in stereo yes we are first single congratulations on your first single yes. we were hypnotized yes, is, oh, 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 oh. i want to i want to say something please please please, please. Oh, oh. can you introduce yourself in czech oh. language ahoj jmenuji se kanada jsem z prahy a teď jsme v jakartě oh, okay and which which means uh, hi my name is kanada and i was born in czech prague czech republic and now we're in Jakarta. Because all I, all I caught was Kenaga. Manui. Manui is my name, is it? Manui, yeah. Manui and Jakarta. I <laughs> caught only Kenaga and Jakarta. <laughs> That's it. <Okay. laughs> but anyways, for the viewers at home, probably they are all very familiar with Kenaga, who is also very well known as an actor and has been involved in several movies such yes. as Gundala, Garuda Tuju, Buffalo Boys, and now have unlocked a new chapter in his career yes. as a solo musician. A musician, a solo musician. But before we start our chat for today, um, I want to know more. So again, from music, no, excuse me, from films, acting, films, acting. films and theater. And theater from as theaters, well. Theaters, yes. right? So you fell in love um, with theater first, yeah. And then it became, you know, the the journey the continues. Movies, and then, and then to singing. Commercials, and okay. then musicals. Then I was in the movies for a while, and then I started to explore music again. Right. And then finally I had my first song. Okay. <laughs> what inspired you? When you mentioned musicals, have yeah. you always been a fan of musicals? Have you always been very mm. musical growing up? What inspired you to now this is the time to unlock this new path of your career? It was something like which felt good at the time to start something new, to pursue like my own goal. Mm. I was always interested in the music and in performing arts and singing and going through solo career was always like something I wanted to try. Okay, okay. So take us back when you were, um, you know, a little boy. Um, were you always into acting or, or, or you know, uh, making arts or performing, maybe? Not really, but I was mostly into music, concerts, right. watching concerts. From such a young age. Like 
every concert was, which was happening in Prague. Right. So yeah, your first most. concert was what? And uh, Lincoln what Park. It? Lincoln Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good one. <laughs> and now you have released a new song, and probably, hopefully, in the future, you're going to hold concerts. But yeah. Love in Stereo. Can you please tell us what is the story or the inspiration yeah. behind the song? Because you also wrote mm. it as well. So the inspiration for the Love in Stereo was the feeling when you fall in love, and sometimes you can like go to other places and then the person you fell in love with is far but you can still hear their voice in your head i can feel you near yeah, yeah although you're not here <laughs> yes, yes i was hypnotized by the lyrics but how was the process like the creative process how did it came to you were you alone were you with your wife as well i think i was alone i was thinking about it and then maybe i was i had that voice in my head and then maybe i should do a song about it Mm. And then I reached to my producer and he also helped me mm. to write the lyrics for Love in Stereo. Okay, so actually Love in Stereo features an urban pop sound with groovy uh, beats to it. Now, how do you know that this specific genre is yours? Yeah, because, because of the sound and the voice. Right. I was thinking that maybe in the future songs it's going to be different genres and different sound, but it's always going to be my voice, so I wouldn't think too much. You're about ready to explore it. more. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> but it will always revolve around your voice. Yeah. And once the music or the song, you have written the song, it's complete. Who did you show the song or have listened to the song first? Uh, it was my wife. Yeah. <laughs> when we finished the demo with the producer Rimaldi, mm -hmm. I, yeah, first she said she, it's like a different sound because before mm. we made some acoustic songs yes. and it was more guitar-based songs, and this one was more like uh, yeah neo disco. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And how was her response? Because it's about I love. I think she didn't like it at first. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Because <laughs> it was different from right. the ones before. A big surprise. But then yeah, I played it over and over, and yep. then she liked it. <laughs> of course, and the, at the end she liked it. Yes, right. But if we see your social media, of course, um, the viewers at home who are big, fa probably big fans of you and also your wife Tara Bastro, they are very envious of your chemistry, of your relationship. How does Tara support you, especially in finding your career, shifting from being actor and now being a musician or a singer yeah, she always supported me to go through this change and to make this big step uh, and start something new like a music because she also like she used to do songs yes. yeah how was the challenge like because of course acting and singing is two very different yeah. things yeah it's more like now i have to plan with the team what's going to be next. Mm. Sometimes in the movies, uh, we have to wait for the right role, for the castings and stuff. As this for music. can help to make like uh, steps ahead yeah. and plan for a future. All right. And of course, uh, regarding singing itself, I, I understand that you have an upcoming uh, agenda to mm -hmm. it. So do you actually like plan it with, uh, you know, the whole crew and also your live gets uh, involved to it and want to know, you know, what's your big step? The big step is going to be probably I'm going to release the next single and then I'm planning for an album. Planning for an album? Yeah. Oh. Can we guess? So it's going to be like mixed feelings album. Like okay. Is it going to be the I same genre like... or is it going to be, you know, there's a, another twist to it? It's going to be a twist. Like oh, oh some interesting. Acoustic <laughs> songs, also on piano. Acoustic. I like acoustic. Oh, okay. I think it's very hard, right? Yes. To do and then you know to actually like to swim into uh, you know the song itself. Yeah. So we want to know more. Who are you going to collaborate with? You're uh, allowed to so spill I'm still, it. I'm still collaborating with the producer, with right. Rimaldi, who's helping with the most of the songs. Anyone yeah. specific that maybe just maybe someday in the future you can collaborate with? Huh? I have no idea. No. Not, not, <laughs> now. not now. Not now. But still Let's coming make it solo out <laughs> yeah, first, and then this, <laughs> one step at a time. Yes, yeah, right. and this is when um, you know his yeah. wife uh, comes in and then gives a list. So you're gonna collaborate with the sisters. Yes. Yeah. See, good one. The best step. But <laughs> speaking of you know 
stepping in the first step of taking your path in yeah. the career of music as well. Can you please tell us, from your point of view as a newcomer as well, what is the best way, do you think, to promote your music on all platforms or where can we listen to your songs? Uh, people can listen to the songs on Spotify and YouTube, but I'm also planning to make a music video, so now I'm starting to think about the story if, to make it visual. Mm. So that's probably the future of this song, and then I'm going to continue promoting this song now. <laughs> of course, of course. And uh, of course, to make you know um, future songs, future lyrics, you need to you know get inspired. Now, some may get this inspiration when they're alone, going to the beach or in a crowded place, right? Yeah. So what's yours? Sometimes, mostly, it's in the coffee shop where I'm with a pen and like a notebook, and then I'm thinking, and then I can see something or just thought is coming to me, and then that's usually the idea which I bring to the producer, and we build it together. But speaking of inspirations, looking at other musicians, are there any musicians that you look up to, or who are your biggest inspiration? Like right now. Like, yeah, mostly like... Uh, or probably besides Linkin Park, because it was your first concert. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe like a Prince, George Michael, and mm. those kind of Stevie Wonder. Mm. Yeah. Oh, legend. I like those singers and writers. All right. Them. Love them. All right, so we will still have more on the Sunday music and still with Kenaga, but we will have another singer after the break, Mantari, who will be joining us as well. Of course, so keep it here only on the Sunday morning show right here on Say Today.